What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Masters Revenge. We're gonna be running from them like this. This would work better if we had like a webcam. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, hint, hint, uh, when we play Fatal Frame. Probably, yeah. Hint, we're gonna hint, be looking... running from Ghost Baby Girl like this. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be running towards them. <laughs> we got Marvstar running away from them. <laughs> I would definitely be running away from them. I don't Marv like Star scary Si Marvstar Astral runs away, versus Last Revenger engages. <laughs> if you've been watching our little nightmares, you could probably tell. I'll just support you from here, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be- it's a couch call, there's no- well, not couch call, you're couch- we're sitting on the same couch, and there's no way you're gonna be running away. That's true. I could close my eyes. Oh, that would be fun to watch. <laughs> I think I'm mostly- Okay, well, besides the point, welcome back. Uh, we get to see more of this game. This is the final chapter again. Like, I reiterated, like, a couple episodes, even last episode. We gotta cut this chapter off with a bang, but I keep going. Yep. Alright. Uh, let's get into it. Mm hmm Then the mastermind, Monokuma's puppeteer, really is the 16th student? No. Can't be. There's no way, right? Nice. The ultimate puppeteer. The ultimate puppeteer. Oh, maybe. Wonderful control room sincere. has been added to the truth bullet section in your handbook. Um... The ultimate puppeteer is the one killing us. We were killed by a puppeteer. Hey, manipulation works wonders. That's as, true. as messed up as that says to say out loud. <laughs> That's reality for you. I guess so. Then, uh, kids at home. If you're watching this, why are you watching a killing game? Uh, but besides that, uh, yeah, mentally fortitude yourself so you don't get manipulated too easily. Yes. Don't get manipulated. That's that's bad. That's a trap. Don't manipulate others. Yes, it goes both ways. Yeah, don't don't be a dickhead. What's wrong, Dakota? I don't like that face you're making. Did I manipulate you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you didn't manipulate me. I manipulated you. Donuts? It's nothing. Self-destruct button, where was it? <laughs> oh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, well, it's just... This is where the Mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope Speak Academy it's not true. Um... So, like... So, um... You wanna leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Yeah. No. Um... I'm being blocked. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta get going, man. What the heck? Marv, what's, you gotta keep going. What are you doing? What's wrong, Makoto? Let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, no, Marv, what's, what's that? <sighs> I wanted to investigate it. What? Huh? As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Huh? The door, it just locked on its own. What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. You're right. It's locked. But why? I could have I could have fucking investigated that trap door, Hina. Strong. <laughs> huh? Dang. He just called your ass out. <laughs> of course it's locked because the data center is now restricted. <laughs> what an idiot. What? M Monokuma? Why are we getting locked out of rooms? Just a second. Hey, no fair. You can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. <laughs> we could have investigated that fucking door, Hina. It's your benefit. Wait, you're controlling Mono Kuma right now. I bet you were in that door. What door? <laughs> I'm so pissed. Because <laughs> if that roof stays open, I won't be able to move around. So you were in there! So you were in- You were right below us! Imagine how the press room would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving. 
That's crazy. <laughs> then that room. As you may have guessed, no, not to where my controls are. Um... So right now, you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, indeed. Correct the So they were in the fucking trap door. You're a liar. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there and we didn't see anyone. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? Stop. <laughs> Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? N no way! <laughs> the hatch on the floor that I wanted to check out? <laughs> Too bad. That was your one big chance and you blew it. Too bad. <laughs> of course, that hatch can't be opened from the outside anyway, so whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. Hmm. Now then, this is your official. This room is official restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell each other. Tell the others. Please. Um, Don't worry, I, I felt the same way when I put, when I had that situation, but then when he said like, oh, you can't even open it, so it's fine. Yeah, I was like, okay, whatever, we couldn't have opened it anyway. But still, he'd have blocked oh. me. He's gone, but... So, um... Was he telling the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? And when I said we should leave... Well, that hatch couldn't be opened from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Kinda is your fault if it I was open. Lying. Yeah. If it was open, I'd be really mad at you, Hina. Sorry. No, whatever. Okay. Okay, now I feel bad. <laughs> anyway, we don't have to get, let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most out of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay. I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice. You've got me all motivated again. Okay, I'm out. See ya. Nina took off at full sprint. And I have to do what I can too. That's the only way forward. Alright, exclamation mark, please. We're already there. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's the room. Oh my god, this looks like there's so much to investigate. This is the Headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. Ah, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Byakuya. Oh my god. A lot of shit. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Sick. Short. Very short. There are documents scattered all over the floor somehow, it makes me feel anxious. Okay, what? Do, I, do we talk to him first? <laughs> well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean, something interesting? <laughs> this knife! <laughs> <laughs> and then he stabs me? <laughs> yeah. I'm the real mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. It was one- it was on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk. Class number 78, student res registry. It contains profiles for all of us and Mukuro. So in other words... Apparently class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right. It also mentioned class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our, uh, our profiles are listed in there along with hers, in other words, there can be no doubt. Mukuro was a student here at Hope Speak Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get it as fast as possible. But what's your point? <laughs> she was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? Correct. 
Mukro's profile actually contains two pages. What? So in other words... When it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukro that we still didn't have. <laughs> what kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to... Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. Hmm. You can read, can't you? <laughs> I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left at such a he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Bakia as I skimmed through the report. Mukuro reappeared suddenly and in the background uh, an entity floats close but just out of reach. The entity known as the ultimate despair. Is that what Mukuro looked like? Yeah. Kinda bad. Right now I can't be sure. I mean she is, is a mercenary. Are all mercenaries mercenaries hot? How do you think they have dude, think of it like this. It's more often than not, like some will look really hot because how would they infiltrate? That's true. Oh wow. I think that could be one of their skill sets, whether it be like stealth operations or infiltration sometimes. Don't ask how I know there's people home. <laughs> well in any case She's kind of bad. Is that Frost? Right. <laughs> I think she's underage, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? These are all high, high school, school students. <laughs> she's not kind of bad. She's not. I'm going to stop. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Good boy. <laughs> Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have no feelings for anything. This is just the game. It's all jokes. Yeah, this yeah, it's all disclaimers. <laughs> if you take this seriously, then you are something else. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior, too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. Mukuro was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now, but wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So, I mean, yeah, they were allies if Mukuro was able to be hidden that whole time. I don't know. Mercenaries. That's true, but then Mukuro was also killed, so it could have been like a blackmail type of thing. I don't know. So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? Yeah, exactly. Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have been they would have had to take her completely by surprise and kill her like that. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? That's fine. You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should know. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before? A girl who seems to be included as a part of our class, number 78? That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. Dude, it says right there next to the picture. I can't read. Bro! <laughs> hmm. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot, 7 inches, 97 pounds. Is she underweight? And even if... It even lists her vitals. 31, 22, 32. Probably no muscle. Oh, not much. She had more muscle, but less uh, body fat. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, well, I don't know any average numbers, so 32, 22, 32, whatever. Stop talking. You hopeless idiots. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean... Wait, is he trying to say... There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro? Is that what he's saying? Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. What do you do? What you do with that it's information is your business. Now. It's all clear now. So, I'm back to being Byakuya's errand boy. Mukuro's profile has been added to the truth in your handbook. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. 
It's a bit of advice for me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Advice? For me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Hm. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In other words... The cost of faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? <laughs> just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? <laughs> but my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. Well, keep it in mind. Thanks. Uh, we did the papers. Last number day of 78, student registry. Apparently that's us. It has profiles on me and everyone I met at the beginning, and Mukuro. Just like us, Mukuro was apparently a new student here at Home Street Academy. Mukuro Ikusaba, part of the ultimate despair. Which means her and the Mastermind should have been allies. But then, why would the Mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? Should have been friends if they're working together. The bookshelf seems really well made, and it's filled with files and thick books. Okay. Right, so everything's useless in here or something? Documents scattered everywhere. I'm anxious. Woo! I'm out of here. Alright. On to the next exclamation mark. There's three up here! Okay, let's check the body. The body's gone. Um... Huh? It's gone. Look at his body. It's not here? Here, well, it's not like I can check where it was, I guess. And check the plant. Okay. <laughs> the plant ate it. <laughs> the monokuma flower. Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Well, I don't think it's related to the case, so I'd better keep my distance. What if the mastermind threw it in there, Makoto, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Climb up. <laughs> Maybe the body's inside the tool shed. I better check to be sure. Okay, we're checking the tool shed for the body. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here either, then it must be... I have no idea where. But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in here. That's the... That's... There's one other thing. That tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case, so... You mean the past case we just... Yeah. Oh, you mean the one with... Yeah. With, um... Kifumi and... Mr. Oh no, I'm forgetting their names. Uh, Taka. A tar player hero in another case, so. I better look into it. Alright, let's look into it. The killer used a tarp to keep the spring loose from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on the corner of the tarp. It says Biolab? Then, this originally came from the Biolab. Nice. Tarp hasn't been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I'm out of here. Okay, let's see if we need to investigate anything anymore, because I doubt the chicken coop. That's all I- yeah, that's all I really need to check here. But where could her body have gone? I better start looking for it. Uh, next door. Dojo. Oh. <laughs> oh, Taco. So this is where you were. What do you want? Oh. Rusif? Uh, I am. No, sorry. I'm so disgusted. You want me to. You want me out of your sight? No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. <laughs> well, I have it. I didn't know. I didn't find anything. Not a single clue. I figured out since the, this place was related to the case, it would have something right. But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. <laughs> give it back, give me, give me back my precious time. Y'all same. Bro, you wasted it yourself. <laughs> Calm down, Tucko. What's your problem? You? That's true, you never tell a girl to calm down. <laughs> Do you have an idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. Don't worry, Kyoko. They won't call you that. You've been like that. Nobody's gonna say that, but we're gonna think it. <laughs> Master Will. Oh, that's true. I'm not sure I can disagree with that one. 
I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why are, why won't you? Why won't anyone accept me? To first be accepted by other people, you must accept yourself. Sun Tzu 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. Okay. Yeah. Let's. let's uh, we've been through this. Unless there's something new, the mastermind wants to mess with us, blah, blah, blah. Suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. All right. Now that we're done being stereotypical. Um. <laughs> Art of war. Art of war. So we are, we went here. We have to go up the hallway to the left. Up the hallway. To the left. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh my gosh. Kyoko's in here. Damn it. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. Like it's. It's. Dude! I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. It's so cold. Like. Like cold. Like seriously, why is it so cold? And. Did I mention it was cold? Cold. <laughs> Extra words. There's a stack of tarps here. I haven't seen a it lot looks of these cold lately. It's very cold. Her okay. so cold. Why is it so cold? The first thing is I need to. F That's the first thing I need to figure out. Why is it cold and so cold? And uh, did I mention it was cold? There's two doors I can expect. Okay. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. I've never seen something like this before. Oh, that's it. I've been seeing kind of this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. Haha. <laughs> It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Oh shit, is this where our friends are? That means this biolab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Oh fuck, so the bo bodies are gonna come around! There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. On the left side there's a bunch Walk of blue lights. Zombies. <laughs> but only some of the lights are on. What is this, a ray gun? The one's on the left. The right hand lights are off. Pick me up. Pick me up. I have ray gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the bodies of our friends in there. Got it. Got it. I don't. We're not done in here. Excuse me. There's icicles hanging from the monitor. Surprise! There is a surveillance camera. Uh, a surveillance camera can work with how cold it is in here. Did I somehow mention it was cold yet? What am I missing? Hello? There's some kind of weird machine or something built in the wall. Right hand lights are off, and then I checked the right one already. Also, does that mean since Booker has body disappeared from the garden, could it be in here? I need to check, but I have no idea how to open this thing. Where is the control for this stuff? Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to do standard dry ice for all your uh, cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know the automated system has have activated temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings for optimum prime with our system anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as we need uh. <laughs> <laughs> look me optimum prime <laughs> in the unlikely event of a problem the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately the exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package this is the instruction manual for the fridge well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. It's some kind of makeshift morning. Bio lab secret has been added to the truth bill section of your handbook. And about those lights by each slide. It looks like it's set up. It looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is. Bio lab's light has been added to the truth bill section of your handbook. 
I can't let my emotions take control right now. They're, there's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. To do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Let's open them! Some, okay, whatever. Now can we get out of here? All the bodies are in there. Yeah, we did that. No. No. Am I missing something? I have to check the list and fucking know where to go, huh? Oh, that's already done. We did that. <gasps> Where's my list? Headmaster's room done. Bio lab done. Monokuma door done. Data center done. Second floor of the dormitory. How do we get there? The dormitory. Here. 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 Alright. We have to look for the stairs or something. What's this? Bath, that, yeah, we've seen it plenty of times now. Is it these? The gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. Are they nicer? Oh, what the fuck? Never mind, they're not. This let's is the second the floor of the dorms. Of, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a, yeah, this may be the second dorm, but you know, let's check it out next time on Astro Avengers. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.